Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna continue working on part 4 of this cabin. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to start the kitchen. Now we're gonna continue working on this, specifically the island. Um, let's go to architecture again and then click on component, model in place, and then generic model. It will be generic model number four. And then let's use extrusion. So we're just gonna simply add an extrusion right about here. And then let's click on rectangle. Let's leave a gap here. Um, I'm going to do a different design and then we're gonna have something on the side so I'm gonna do this so I'm gonna extrude it 900 so similar height with that so make sure to change the material as well so let's do chair not cherry but something different this one would be good enough click on finish let's move it a little bit from the inside like that after after this don't click finish yet because we could add in the top so create extrusion um, let's set this one and pick a plane to this plane right here and then let's add in another extrusion at the top there this will be 25 and then let's change this to a stone Let's use this. This one's already used, so rubble would be fine. Okay. And then click finish. And then another one we could do is another, um, a different design in terms of um, the elevation. So I'm going to create another extrusion. So right now, if I show you the 3D, it will look just a simple um, island right here. So this will be where we, we're going to cook. We're going to add in um, a hood at the middle. But we're going to have something around here, like a table surrounding this. So let's do that now. So don't click finish yet. We could do an extrusion again. I'm going to set this one at the level one, press OK, and then now we're going to do this. And then here as well. And then now we just need to clean up the R trim and extend and then delete the remaining that we don't need we can basically move this one maybe let's make it consistent and then let's put 500 we could also push this back so that it will have this nice looking island here probably around 400 would be good as well enough for a breakfast nook and then if we go to 3d it will be there we could click finish but yeah it's will it will be the same uh, top anyway so rubble stone would be good and then here we're just gonna estimate the height of that so it will be extruded from there but it will have this lock 
something different for an island so we could just put in um, chairs around here and we have enough space for people to walk walk by especially here so this is something that you can use the dining or you could use the breakfast area right here let's put it a little bit more at the top oh no not that one but we could estimate the tier a l and then here so we can know the the height of the table is a good uh, indication or reference and then we could just pull it like that i think that's enough for this we can now click finish to finish it off if we go back to level one we could add in some of the tables or chairs sorry so we could click that type in cs spacebar and then let's add in so let's space it off like that and then one here and then we could just use our arrow keys to space it more so that everybody has a proper spacing okay and then now let's insert some hood and some um, so let's go to specialty equipment and then I believe this the top hook top is around here let's do an electric okay so let's do this electric open and then cm we can put it on this side and then let's remove the tag so just click edit uncheck the show label apply and then ok and then after that what we can do is we could add in so let's double check it first if we put it on the proper so let's double check with the section and as you can see we were able to put it on the proper plane and then let's go back and load the hood so we have island hood right here we just need to look for it so let's let's look at it at mid-range okay so maybe it's on the high range and it's right here hood island this is the wall so let's use this for the island click open and then type in cm so we have the vent hood we need to click it edit type and then uncheck the show label again we don't need to show that and then we could double click here and then we need to see where is the hood so it's right here we just need to move it so mv and then just move it at the top like that you can also you just use your arrow key and then as you can see it's fully parametric parametric so we can just extend it at the top like that so yes so i think this is enough height for that so we can do that 
and we're not done yet because we need to add in the cabinetry and the um what do you call this the handles so what we can do is we could go to level one again and we could move the um, section into here so that we don't see this anymore once we do that double click on this again and then as you can see this is uh, the only thing that being shown we need to go to our model in place and this will be another generic model um, let's do an extrusion and then pick a plane um, I'm gonna choose this plane first at the top and let's change the material obviously it needs to be wood so we need to go to wood and then just choose whatever you want here we could choose this one and then we could do this and then let's click this and nudge it in place and then nudge it in place so basically your arrow key just nudging it in place and then now we just need to have the mid midpoint and then we could just um, put it in the middle right here so I'm just estimating it so here I'm gonna click here and then midpoint and then we could click here again and then type in 10 click on those and then I want it to be extruded around 2015 only and then here we need to click on split element or SL we need to click on SL like this okay and then now tr trim and extend okay and then now click finish and then finish again if we look at it at 3d it will look like that even without a handle it looks good so now let's do it again on the bottom so let's go back here model in place generic model you need to click on extrusion pick a plane and then we need to choose the plane here and then what I want you to do is click on rectangle so rectangle first nudge it with your arrow key just one click one click here as well and then one click on the side after that we can just add in the line in the middle so somewhere here we could copy the ones at the top so you just add it and then AL choose the line there choose the line here and then choose the line there as well after that pick line offset this to 10 and then click here I want it to be extruded 15 again and then now SL for the split element click it there
and then now TR trim and extend. Okay. And then we shouldn't forget the drawers. So we could just click like that. And then click here, put in 10 again, and just do this again, SL. And then TR. And then let's not forget about this side as well. And then let's do a line to align them. And then pick 10 again. And then now SL. And then now TR. That's stream and extend. Okay, and then once you're done, click finish and then just use the same finish at the top. I think we're going to leave it like that without any handle. It looks much better. And as you can see, we completed the, the island and the kitchen all together. So thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.